Let's go up the stand with this. Okay, well this year's 2018, but we were started back in 1918. So that means we're celebrating 100 years. And we've been doing some different things this spring, and as the summer goes along, we'll do some things, then we have some other uh, parties planned in September. But we're celebrating the 100 years, and we've had some different specials going on, and, and different things like that. What are some of your offerings for this time of year? Okay, well this being actually the first of June now, we have went through our major part of our growing and selling season, because Northwest Ohio is generally geared with um, Mother's Day planting of vegetables and annuals and perennials and things like that. But with the different types of weather we've been having, rain, cool weather, now it's been really hot, now it's cooler. We still have a good selection of tomato plants that you can plant in your garden, pepper plants, flowers and annuals, things like that that you can plant right now. So it's a good time to do that and that's what we're promoting. Okay. We have probably, we did have over 30 varieties of herbs and people who use the herb will plant them in small containers, porch boxes, things like that. Maybe if they have a nice window in their kitchen they can do that. But they're raising those plants to use in uh, their different sauces, spaghetti, things like that. So it's a good organic and natural way of adding spice to your cooking. And then the next department that's been real popular, of course, is succulents. And that's been around, well, they've been around a long time, but the interest has really been good the last three years. So we've been selling a lot of succulents to all age groups. And they plant them in containers, mainly, and they'll sit out on their patios during the summer and then in the fall. They have to bring them in because they're not hardy succulents. Tell us about the classes you offer. Okay. Well, in April we offered some early gardening, uh, cool weather uh, vegetable crops in, this, in uh, April. And then as time went along there we had a um, miniature gardening, fairy garden kind of uh, workshop where we had a lot of kids in. And we had uh, Princess um, Aaliyah and also Spider-Man in, so that was a pretty good <laughs> afternoon there with that. And also a workshop that we have done is with herb gardening as well. So there's different things that people ask for and we do it. How much of a part you do is educating their customers? Well we have a lot of them come in that have had past experience so they seem to know what they want or to do but then there's um, other people who are just new to the gardening so we give them a little, we give them some ideas on gardening techniques, what do they want to plant, uh, soil amendments, that type of thing. But we, a lot of people come in with the knowledge because they've already Googled it on the internet or something or that type of thing. So they're gaining knowledge that way. Or through their parents and grandparents, they've also gained their experience. What are some of your events coming up? Well, right now in June, we, we don't have anything particular right at the moment. At the end of the month, we do put a few of our annuals and perennials uh, a little bit on sale try to clean up on them. It all depends what the temperatures have been in June and what they're predicting in July because it's hard to hold the annuals and perennials in these conditions when it gets real warm. Uh, last week it was 100 degrees in mm. here, so it's a change like that. But on July the 6th, we've had the last three years, we uh, it's called the peach trough. That's the, what happens. And it's Georgia peaches. And they've been picked just prior to coming here two days in advance. They came here in cases and we'll literally have three to four hundred people standing in lines waiting to get the Georgia peaches. And you let those peaches sit out for a few days and then you can put them in the cooler and they're just juicy. They're great peaches. So that's the whole parking lot will be full. I'll, it's, we have to direct traffic, park around the back. Like I say, the lines will be Probably 300 people standing oh in line God. waiting to get a case of Georgia peaches for 40 bucks. If you would like to keep track of all your activities, how can you do that? Well, of course, we're modern like everybody else <laughs> we have to be. So we're on Facebook, and we keep that pretty up to date. And they can go on there and look as well. And our website, but Facebook is the main avenue of communication anymore in these days. So that's where you'd want to find out about when the peach truck's coming, what day. Uh, it's coming two weeks, two, uh, two times this year, 
once, uh, twice in July, so they'll be coming back through. But that's where you'd find the information, and of course you could always call us on the phone too. Thank you for your time. Well, that was nice. It was a nice afternoon to do that at home. A cooler Saturday. <laughs> Thank you. This is Kyla Higgins from the Bowling Green Digital Media Club. Thank you for coming on board as a student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? Uh, I think it's phenomenal. I think having the opportunity to do this as a student at your age is just absolutely magnificent. I think um, the training that you get in front of a camera and the real life interaction here is awesome for you. I think that you'll probably see businesses and professions that you wouldn't have even been exposed to without this opportunity here as well too. Um, we, we think that the 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 this is great, and we personally um, provide a lot of support in the community, certainly through the practice, um, and also uh, being a member of the Rotary Club as well, too. What other organizations do you support in this community? Oh, thanks for asking. So we support a lot of um, school efforts and initiatives. Um, we've provided eye care for individuals who couldn't afford um, care and who broke their glasses, who've done other things but have been in situations where they can't afford care. Um, and through the Rotary Club, we just provide so much local charity efforts as well, too. So we're heavily and uh, deeply involved in the community. Thank you for all you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on board as a student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? I think it's a great way to get young people involved with news coverage. Um, and I think it's a great way to, uh, to uh, uh, turn a spotlight on the local charities. What other community activities do you support? Um, I'm uh, on the board for Woodlane Residential Services, um, the uh, pre-professional um, society at uh, Bowling Green State University and uh, Rotary Club, um, we, uh, this organization, FIPS 11 Habeca, is going to be having our, our uh, veterans charity on Friday. That's our um, Star Stripes and Smiles Veterans Appreciation Day, um, and that's Friday, May 4th. Thank you for all you do for this community. Thank you.